Afternoon, I'm Abby Maurer. As we come on the air, we are following breaking news out of Midway this noon. We are the first to report City Manager Auburn Ford has been taken into custody by investigators at his home. It's a developing story and our top story this noon. We want to get straight to WTXL ABC 27's Brittany Jones, who joins us live now from City Hall with the details. And Brittany, what do you know right now? Uh, Abby, right now we don't have many details, but we know investigators have been here at City Hall since 8 this morning. Now, we left and went over to City Manager's Auburn Ford's home where they're searching his car and also searching his home and then took him into custody. Now, this is exclusive video we shot as Ford was put into the police car this morning. About five investigators were on scene searching everything, like I said, from his house um, also into his car. Now, we don't know if or what he will be charged with and we're just trying to find all those details. However, Pre Gretel Plessinger with the Florida Department of Law Enforcement says investigators served search warrants to City Hall this morning and she says it's a joint investigation between FDLE and the FBI. Now, investigators told me City Hall should be open by now. They said it was going to be around midday, which is about right now this afternoon, but they are still on scene behind us and we haven't heard any word that they have opened back up. But we will continue to follow this story and bring you the latest as it becomes available to us, and you can also check online at WTXL.TV. I'm live in Mid Midway, Brittany Jones, WTXL, ABC 27, dedicated to you. Now, this is not the first flare-up in the city of Midway. In July, there was much controversy over the possible opening of an adult entertainment club. In May, city manager Auburn Ford, who was previously let go and brought back into office, let go of three department heads, including Fire Chief Frank Robinson. There was the controversial council seat of city councilman Charles Willis, whose opponent challenged his candidacy for the job, claiming he didn't live in the district that he represents. And in March, the city appointed an interim police chief after the former police chief was suspended from his office and arrested in January charged with official misconduct.